At Auburn, our agricultural research scientists are advancing food production, food quality, and food safety across the board. From meat to produce to baker items to candy, you can see the work at your local farmer's market and up and down every grocery store aisle. We'll share with you a glimpse of the work they are doing, particularly as it applies to meats such as beef, poultry, seafood, and freshwater fish. You will see how they are helping industries, both local and global, strengthen production while implementing greater safety standards. You will see how they are lowering production costs while increasing product quality, and you will see how they are working to make healthier foods more accessible to everyone, everywhere. This farm produces a rough 8,000 pounds per acre, uh, which runs about 11 to 12 million pounds a year. Uh, generally, we sell fish year round. We have a process in that we try to come in here and same uh, weekly. We have different days we deliver on, and we're scheduled on each day to deliver our product to the plants. You think about the farming in this area, we, we, we buy trucks and tractors and equipment. We uh, employ a lot of people on the farms. Uh, pretty much everybody in the area gets a part of our income because we're able to buy and support things around the area. Our fisheries program at Auburn University is probably one of the best known programs at Auburn University around the world. We're known for our research related to catfish, and again, Alabama is the second largest catfish producer in the United States. Uh, we're also known for the advancements we've done related to tilapia. If you're eating tilapia today, it's largely because of research that was once done at Auburn University. 2009, we had no oyster farms in Alabama. Now we're up to, I think the most recent survey we did was last year, and we had 15 oyster farms now going in, in the state. And of that, we had about 2.6 million oysters were harvested, and they had a wholesale value of about $2 million. Auburn come in and introduced us to what we're doing. So they come in and pretty much laid the foundation. Being able to work with Auburn hand in hand, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a comfort to be able to pick up the phone, it's, it, yeah, it goes a long ways as far as, you know, feeling okay, feeling like you're doing stuff the right way, and just have somebody to call and talk to when, you know, you get kind of out of your league sometimes. The poultry science department at Auburn University is only one of six poultry science departments in the United States. Uh, one of the reasons that we're here in Alabama is that the poultry industry is the number one agribusiness in the state of Alabama. It contributes nearly $16 billion to the economy um, in the state of Alabama. By some estimates, that's about one-eighth of the GDP for the whole state. So there's a great need for a workforce. There's a great need for new knowledge and technology and there's a great need for continuing education for the workforce. And we play a role in all three of those areas. I'm the third generation farmer in, in my family. I have four broiler houses. They're 55 by 500 foot houses. Uh, I, as of right now, I house 25,500 birds per house. One of the things that is a huge uh, advantage to our poultry is that we have Auburn University here in Alabama. We have about 80 students involved right now in the poultry science curriculum at Auburn University. Uh, we'll, we will graduate anywhere from 10 to 15 of those students per year, and most of those students have anywhere from three to four job opportunities uh, as they graduate. So it's not a choice of, are you going to get a job when you graduate? It's what part of the industry do I want to go into? The beef cattle industry can be separated into three basic segments, the cow-calf industry, the stalker industry, and the feedlot industry. Because Alabama is located in a region of the country where we have a significant amount of rainfall, we have the potential to grow tremendous amounts of forages for livestock grazing, uh, Alabama is well suited for supporting the cow-calf industry. On Curtis Farms, we have about 152 mama cows and we're a cow-calf operation. We run uh, um, one bull per 25 to 30 head. You know, as an individual, you choose what direction you want to go. You can pick up the phone and call anybody at Auburn in, in, the, uh, in the Ag Department and, and get an answer for whatever problem you're having. Food safety in the produce is important. It's extremely important in our livestock and poultry industries because what happens on the farm will continue to impact the quality now, and safety of those meat products once they're processed. So we're working with 
poultry producers, beef producers, fish producers, oyster producers, to make sure that their production techniques maximizes their yields, optimizes their profitability, and maximizes the safety of their product.